Now I'm going to show you how to take a picture of your fluorescently stained cells on the fluorescent inverted microscope. So the first part of the process is um, to turn on the microscope. At the front, there's what's called a UV burner. Um, so you switch that on. And then to the right of that is the bright field lamp. And that's controlled by a little knob over there. The most important thing to remember is not to turn on, on and off the UV burner because this will use up the life of the bulb. So just please turn it on and leave it turned on until everybody is done using the microscope and then make sure it's turned off at the end of the day. So once you've done that, I always tell students it's easier to find their cells in the bright field first before turning on the fluorescence. So go ahead and turn on the bright field knob and make sure that the um, turret on the side of the microscope that controls the different filters is set to number one. And then you just go ahead and find your cells in the microscope. Once you have a pretty good focus on your cells and they're clear, you can turn off the, turn off the bright field. And then the turret on the side needs to be changed to the correct filter. So first we're gonna be looking at a green stain called calcine, which stains all of your live cells green. And you'll choose filter number two and then when you're ready to look at your cells, you're going to open up the shutter, which is gonna allow the fluorescent light to come through. If you don't see any, anything, check the shutter. It could be that you haven't opened it yet. You should see some light shining through. And then again, you're going to want to find your cells in the microscope first and focus on them clearly. Make sure the knob at the front is turned um, all the way to the eye little picture so that all the light is coming through the microscope. If you switch it over to this, the, um, the other little picture is a camera, that means all the light goes through the camera and you won't be able to see anything in the microscope. So once you've found your cells in the microscope and you have them in focus, then you can go ahead and switch over to the software. Now I'm gonna tell you, show you how to take a fluorescent image of your cells once you've focused in on them on the microscope, go ahead and open up the QCapture Pro software and click preview. And um, make sure that you um, have the camera selected so that all the light is coming through. Make sure the knob is turned to the camera position. And then go ahead and click calculate auto expose. And you should see a bright image of your cells in there. You may have to focus in on them a little bit with the micro microscope using the fine focus. And just go slowly because there's a delay in the microscope and on the camera. And once you have a, a good clear image of your cells, you can go ahead and take a picture. Click snap. And then go ahead and right click on the image and tint green. And then if you have two different stains on your cells, you'll go ahead and switch over to the next filter. In this case, it's DAPI. And again, you would do the same steps, calculate auto expose. And if your image looks clear, then you can go ahead and take another picture of your image. And then right click tint blue and what will happen is it will automatically create a composite image which combines the two images together so that you can see the two stains on the same image that particular image you can go ahead and save it and just save it in a, a folder on the desktop and give it a name that you'll remember so you can go back and and um, pick it up later if needed and then you can save it as a jpeg it's a little bit smaller file that way and then just click save and then if you want to save the individual images separate from the composite image, there's an extra step to do. You go to edit, convert to RGB 24, and then it will create a new image that you'll then be able to save. You need to do this step to save the image as a color image. If you don't, then it will just save it as a black and white image.